All right, so we have to take the clutch back. Um, I'll post it later. I think it's a E, as far as I remember. It's like two sets of the clutches, and we have to take clutches from there too. So first snap ring coming out. Then this gear transfer gear, I guess, coming out. Why is that coming out? There you go. Okay, so this one was on the top, like this. Then you have another snap ring. It's gonna come out soon. This is on the top. Take it, get out from the drum piston. You have to take those clutches off. And there is another one right there. Oh, jeez, bearing. Make sure you. I think it's freaking heavy too. There we go. Another piston. Okay, let's put this on the side. Yeah, this is the metal, not the wrong with. So this is the first. This is going to the top. Lock with the top spring. Then this transfer gear uh, thing. No, just the gear and another snap ring. Okay. We have to take the clutches off now. Well pump the first piece we take from the transmission. So this is the easiest way to start it for me from here. I'm gonna clean up the table a little bit. Let's do it. So first we put a small shim. This is the piston right there, right? This is the smallest piece, is this sh like a shim? So Put in the shim, it's only one way you can put it. Done. Then we put the first friction plate. Then we put the clutch. Make sure you sock the clutch with the with the transmission oil specified for this transmission. Uh, rotation of this clutch's performance, I'm not really sure. I think I'm just gonna put the it should be sign over there. What is the sign? Oh, here. Here's the sign. So, letters up. I'm gonna do it like this. Then we put another shim. I mean, the friction plate. Then another, another clutch. Same thing. Looking for the sign. Letters in here. Then we do the other one. Where's the where's the numbers from? Here's the numbers. Okay. Yeah, the clutch. I mean the friction plate, sorry. Another clutch. Sign up. Friction plate. And the last clutch. Not much room I have in my garage for it's uh, lots of stuff going on. So yeah, like this. Okay, so this is the first set we did it. Okay. Now we gotta put the secure with the ring which is right there grab it <clears throat> one side up then we do the other one yeah, like this ok 
Okay, let me do it. I need two hands, okay? So the first set is down, is in. Okay, I put it back. This, it should move. This is normal. Okay, so first set we install it, it's upgraded. We put it in the side, we have more room in the table now. Let's move to the table. Uh, second clutches will be EEC, I believe. Let me see what else I can do before the EEC, uh, because this is the most difficult ones. Okay, uh, next one is gonna be over here. This is the last clutch sets I did on the, um, Uh, maybe it's an A. I'm gonna post it right now too. So let's do this ones. Okay. Same thing. We put the shim first, friction plate, and then do the clutch and and um, clutch, friction plate, clutch, friction plate until we go to the last piece with the clamp. All right. Let's stack these clutches all in the bottom. Uh, I think it's a A clutch. Not sure I'm gonna post it right now. Like I said, I'm doing this first time. So same same thing. Take the team one tin shim. It's going first to the piston. Uh in this particular one, as you see the mark in the middle, so that's how it was. Yeah, just make sure you soak oil the the clutches. Okay, one is in, then we put the friction plates, and stack, stack the clutches, the face up, okay, the data, the, the date of the, it actually doesn't matter, they're both same. Yeah, doesn't matter. Okay, friction plate. Clutch. Try to make the other tip in the same place because we have to slide the, the drum later. Other one. <clears throat> Sorry for the crappy video. Okay. Last clutch. Already, and then pressure plate. I'm gonna put the snap ring. Find the snap ring. It's hard to me to do, but my with my one hand, so. Same way, you just have to snap to the groove where we the same way we take them off, okay? Let's take it out. I mean let's put her in, the clutches is there. Let's do it right, so it's all in. Try to make the clutches the whole it in the same position as possible. So it's easy to be it's much easier to be slide the the drum in, which is right there. I ordered a new one because the like I'll show you in the previous video. Uh, the tooth is kind of... Um, how to say that? It's kind of got little damage, which is I was expecting. So, yeah, I ordered this new. So that's where it's gonna go in. This drum is gonna go in there. This 
have to rotate, rotate until it meet the right position of the clutches. So that's what we have to do. Okay. For the clutch C and E, we need the presser tool, which is I bought it on Amazon for thirty-eight dollars, I think. Simple. You have to press this uh, piston in to get access to the uh, pin over here the ring, secure ring, same thing on this side, we have to press it in, take that pin ring out and then we can get the everything apart and get to the clutches, all right, all right. snap ring is off, let's pull the piston, <clears throat> see how it looks, yeah, you see a little bit, Casket looks fine. Yeah, see, that's from the pressing, the pressing, the the clutch, spring. Sorry, all these marks. I guess it's still usable. Here's the Teflon ring, I think, as far as I remember. All right, so we can replace the clutches right now. Pull it out, as I said before. So the shim piece is in the top. Let's see how clutches looks. So far they're looking good. Don't you see any issue with There is no burning marks. <clears throat> So we have to see the thickness of the whole the whole pack, and we have to grab amount of clutches that close to this one, and try to be stuck same exactly amount of the clearance. So we're not gonna have an issue with the shifting or any other issues with the the way the transmission is gonna work and shift yeah this one a little bit sign of the burn burning yeah, this is pressure plate right yeah that's a pressure plate which is which is good we gotta keep it i don't see any issue with that so i'm gonna measure same thing as the other one thickness of this and we're gonna keep up with the this set over here. So I stack all the clutches, the new ones, performance one. Make sure you soak them up with the oil. As you see, they all soak it. Uh, it's up to you. If you wanna do full rebuild, you can get the new piston and new Teflon ring. I'm gonna pit, uh, I'm gonna keep everything. Uh, oh yeah. Like I said, transmission, it's like about 40,000 miles on it. Has no issue, anything like that. But you have high mileage transmission, uh, 100 or up. I would probably recommend the whole, get the whole kit, rebuild kit, which is, it's like million pieces, million kind of different washers, uh, rings, bearings, like extra stuff. So uh, in my case, I'm keeping everything as I take it. So transmission is not really old and um, was beat for a couple of years only. All right, it's up to you. You want to do full rebuild, that's fine with you. You have to order all little pieces, which is, I don't have any part number yet, but I'm pretty sure you can find the online. Uh, measure the thickness of that, they exactly same. Maybe like thousands only difference, which is fine. But it's it's on the spec, so let let's put back uh, back the piston. Same way we have to compress that back together and put the snap ring back. So press that in. The clutches must be moved freely. Should be a really good gap. 
make sure you have that okay so this is the old ones and then we get to this one okay not sure which one is c which one is e <laughs> i think with the hop is e and that one is c not quite sure but i'll post the picture right now all right so this one is ready let's do that one the last set of the clutches okay take the press it take the snap ring off and that's it and you can unscrew this one same way same as the other one take it out the piston okay check make sure it's all good okay here is the new one so it was the old one was 25 25 let's see what we got here 2570 yeah i mean it's a little bit bigger than the other one by half a millimeter so by the time they will work out and uh, we're a little bit out after a few pulls it will be exactly the same spec as the, the original so a little bit higher number is fine but the lower number i wouldn't do it because uh, these clutches will get smaller size after a while it's like you can do like uh, 0 0.2 millimeter higher up to 0 0.5 it should be any problem all right let's soak them up and install it so five ten minutes in the oil should be enough okay same story i put a sign the date is up Last and shrimp. Last friction plate and, and shrimp. Okay, now we can press this back in. Let's bring this to the presser. Oh my god, I wish I had more room to work with this. Okay, we can press this. The ring is there. Just gotta slide it down one side by side. All right. Yeah, I need a screwdriver. Can't do it with my hand. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So you, you have an idea what to do. You have to put it back in the groove over there. Same as the other one we did it. So all here, make sure you got all the, it should move free and you should have a gap. Uh, make sure you got all the bearings in, the clutches is moving clearly. So let's stack everything back in. Let me put this bearing in here. Alrighty. What 
which one's first i think let me see which one is gonna go first so yeah make sure we have bearing there this clutch pack is going first i think it's a clutch uh, uh e maybe c i'll let you know in a second so we have to stack this one in first what is the bearing here for now gotta line up all the clutches to the grooves of the shell which is difficult for me right now to do with one hand all right let me slide that in and we'll continue in the video okay so i slide that one in make sure you put the bearing and then we do the the other set of the clutches same thing you have to line up with the there we go the clutch grooves now we put in the snap ring remember the first snap ring we take it out okay. you have two grooves so we do one all the way in the bottom okay So we we'll put it in the second groove, okay? Okay. So this drum is ready. C and E clutches. Okay. Put it here on the side because I'm waiting for the delivery of the this drum, the new one. So at this point, we did the whole upgrade clutches except the the last one, which is gonna be here. I think this is the A clutches, right? All the way in the bottom. C we did it. This one we did it. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, and and yeah, we're almost there. We gotta wait for the new drum, and then I continue in the video. Putting this shell back in. Should go to the all clutches it's all the way down. Make sure it's bent all the way down. You may have to turn around. There you go. I think it's it's sitting there now. Yeah, that's it. Now clutch E and C going in there. That's it. Yeah, it's all in. This is the clutch C and E. Heavy though. There we go. Now we have to this shell. Shell. We have to lift it up a little bit up to this point because it's dropping down too too low. And we can catch the I think it's sunny gear, right? Can I move it? It's, it's dropped again. You gotta put a little bit up like this. Then we drop into sunny gear. I'm not sure if, yeah, I think it's a sunny gear name. Oh my God. It's dropped again. Gotta catch the, maybe take a little small pick gently without any damage, try to lift it up and then we put the, this special snap ring. It only goes to the one way. Let's see which way we're putting this. Yeah, this. Oh, pull it out. I'll put it uh... on the surface like this, make... so, Actually, the weight will bring the shell down, all the way down. And now we're gonna try to slide that in. It's not easy, I'm telling you right away. This is what something used to started from this corner over here. 
and then you have to press everything in. Maybe that's why they required to have a special tool for this. I'm not sure. The one end is there. Let's see if I can walk around like the other one I did it. And that's what I thought. This side is not not in place. <clears throat> There is a way to do it anyway. So I have to, first of all, I have to move this forward a little bit. So this corner is in, but that one is done. Where's my, where's my other pick? I just had it. Where did I pull it? Oh my gosh. I just had it in my hands. What did I do with it? Actually, I need it. So yeah, this is the one. I gotta go inside. But the only way it's gonna go, it's in like you know, like an angle. So but that's why we have to start from these both sides. Make them. Uh, I need my pick. I can't do that. In that but. Oh, it's right here. Found it. So I have to pull it out again. Just weird thing, you know. It's almost there. To do this corner now. That's the one. Yeah, I did it. But that one is not as look straight to me. Oh my god, I don't like that. It's a little bit off of that thing. There you go. Now it's in the place. All right, we did it. Okay, now we gotta drop this very carefully down. Oh my God. I gotta find a spot so I can hold it somehow.
Okay. I think we're inside. Ah, cut myself. Make sure. Make sure it's all in. Through all the clutches. Okay, this side is done. Cut myself, of course. Of course, I did. Okay. Um, Let's see what's next of all right i think this guy is gonna go next make sure you got the bearings okay okay after this uh gear we gotta put the shaft back in with the signing gear I believe it's cold all right here's our shaft the bearing should be here remember the bearing on the bottom here when we take apart and the bearing in here so make sure you put oil on all the teflon rings Everything needs to be cleaned. And we slowly start put that thing in. All right. Okay. So this one is in now. Okay, we're putting this gear. As you see, offset is different. There's more space in here than here. So that's the way we put it in. Okay, just slide it in. Make sure, make sure it's all loose. Okay. Then, then we put in another I think I put another uh, sunny gear, right? The name of it. Be very careful. Make sure the bearings is there. The both ends. have a big 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 problem it's same thing I have to pull the shell up but I can't take this shell out because it's all stropped on the other side of the transmission which is means I have to take all the gear gears out all the way in the back over here and a bunch of the other stuff so and this is the special snap ring as well this is the next stage would be to put this snap ring same thing yeah, i think it was right here yeah okay try one more time so i put this corner first make sure you go into the groove and uh I put the plastic behind the, the shell so i can prime try to prime with the screwdriver to not break the What's the name? Do not break that. Mm, tell me. Uh, do not break that shell. And uh, H. I want to talk, talk to you guys before that. It's, it's really easy to break it. Everybody saying that in the videos. Sorry, I need to drop my another screwdriver. So. <clears throat> Sorry, I turned off the video when I actually snapped that in the place. <laughs> so I didn't have a footage of it. So I put these corners first. Hold with my bone uh, fingers like this. Like one here and the other one here. And I use that pick and slide it with the plastic in. 
to this and prime that down and it seems like it's there it was really damn easy but this corner it's not in this one is in but that one is not really which is kind of weird i'm gonna try to use the screwdriver it's like it's it's like in there you know just need a little push to get into it and it will be in there There you go. There you go. That's it. Oh boy. Yeah, that one wasn't easy. So you may have to take the whole thing out. And it's gonna be, you know, there you go. You may have to take the whole thing out. It's, it's, it's easy to, to do in a bench if you have. Like I'm doing the first time ever. Never done this before. So that's my excuse. And plus I don't have any room anyway. All right, so this is in. Make sure everything is in touch in one place. Everything moves. Perfect. Okay. Then I'm putting the, the last sound gear. Make sure the bearing is here. This is the last sound gear with the last set of the clutches. Yep, good. Looks good. Other set of the clutches. The last one actually remember to suck the clutches is right there i don't know if you can see it all right so i guess this is a pressure plate type of thing i didn't see which way it was um yeah this way okay New friction plates and socket clutches as always. I see there's actually only one way you can put it. I didn't even really know. No, doesn't matter. <clears throat> no, it doesn't matter anyway you can put it. Socket with the oil. It's always a good thing. Clutch, last clutch. This way. 
Okay, and we have our last friction plate. And we do have, it's like a shim or spring. So I'll put it this way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to put the, the last piece. It's a, it's a pump. But first we have to clean this and put the gasket. Okay, everything looks good to me. Everything looks good to me. Oh wait. Uh, there is actually. One second, I might have to redo it. Let me check something. There is actually a gap. Let's see it now. I made a little mistake in here now. I don't even know if this is the make any sense or not to it. Yeah, so this one is like, so you see the spot in here, I'm missing the tooth and you're missing the tooth here and I'm missing the tooth here. Uh, and this guy with doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. Right? Let me check the clutches. I don't think so. I saw the anything like that. Any cut on the clutches. Clutches, it doesn't matter. And all this, they look the same. All right. I don't think so. It's a, any issue. Maybe it's, oh, it's for probably for the oil, to drain down oil or something. I see the, the spots open here and open here, so I'll try to keep, actually you can't, yeah, something like that, I'll keep this one. All right, yeah, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, let's clean this. And we gotta put the pump. Remember we changed the, we changed the clutches and pump already before. Remember guys? It's all set, the pump clutches is there. All right. Clean up surface, put the gasket and put everything back together. Very close. Can't wait. Hopefully everything's gonna work the way it should. Okay, let's put the oil pump in. On the way, make sure it's all clean. Okay, all right. Sent in bearing here, make sure you have a bearing. Oil pump, remember the way we take it out. somewhere where is it yeah there you go that's how I hold it just be careful very gentle very gentle because it's a definitely ring there remember
There we go. Ta-da! Let's pull these bolts. This is aluminum bolts, so we have to be. Oops, wrong one. So tie this by hand. Uh, trying to find information, uh, but I think it's 28 newton meter torque. And I type just by feeling the way I take it out. So I'm gonna suggest to you guys, before you take this off, take your torque ratchet set to 28 and see if it's correct or not. So other than that, it's by your feeling. So I'm reusing the gasket. I just spray it with the copper sealer. I don't think there's gonna be any issue. Just no time to wait for uh, this that not really probably necessary for me and let's put the bell housing back in and uh, we're pretty much done we gotta throw this to the car mechatronic we gotta do it probably in the car i'll do it it's it's gonna be maybe yeah build it now and that's it we gotta put this sorry it's so cold i'm putting back in Hopefully we did everything correctly. <laughs> mm. All right. So yeah, make sure you check everything for the shop and damaged parts. If something needed necessary, replace it. Replace please. All right. Okay. Done. The bell housing is back in. As I said, I'm not sure what is the torque of this. Before you take this off, same thing. Use the torque ratchet. 28 probably a newton meter or so and uh yeah it's a good time maybe replace this seal that seal i don't have those seals and this is like a bad budget rebuild of the transmission because first of all i don't know all the parts i need to when i start disassembling this is something i do first time and uh definitely the next one i'm gonna do it i'm gonna make a big list what i would like to get it before assemble everything at this time it will take like months or maybe weeks to get all the little parts which is i'm not really worried about transmission is fresh it's only 30 something 37 28 miles on it so uh, i know i should replace this but i'm gonna skip for this time uh, Fingers is crossed, <laughs> but I definitely know what I needed because I never opened up this before, and yeah, it's a really really good experience. Okay, now we put in the the build torque converter here. Put the axle extension shaft back in and drop it in back to the car. I almost forgot. Don't forget about this washer o ring. It was right here in this groove. I almost forgot. Thanks, God. Back in. Put the axle. Oh, another thing. The bearing in here, you guys have to check this bearing right here. It's a good chance I think it needs to be replaced. See if it's need any replacement of that. But this one looks good. I didn't see any problem with it. And you have to check this seat place too. So sometimes it starts spinning here and destroying the the opening, this opening in here. So I gotta make sure you check this too, okay? Transmission is done. We put the XL back in. We put the front drive in. The third converter in the place. The belt. Built by Oleg. And we're ready for drop it in. This one I'm gonna do in the car. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It was one big project for me. Thank you. Bye.